Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, let's go. In this video, we will cover uh, AWS Delivery Stack. So, uh, in the in this AWS Delivery Stack, right? Like I explained, we will we have uh, CDN, which is the primary thing. Now, in this one, we can have three levels of CDN. First one is bring your own CDN, BYO CDN. It means uh, on top of the out of the box CDN, which is fastly we can put one more CDN. You, we can have our own AWS, maybe CloudFront, etc. Any, any CDN we can have on top of that. So that is called BYO CDN. And of course, it will be customer owned, right? Uh, the second level of CDN, and we will have caching here. Uh, we, we, we will have caching here. Second level of uh, CDN will be outer CDN, though it is actually in, in between. Uh, because uh, if we have this also BYO CDN, it is coming between, but we call it is outer CDN because this is optional. BYO CDN is optional. So outer CDN, which is fastly, and uh, it will serve these pages. We will learn what is these pages, but uh, just to understand, these are the live pages. That's why it's live. Uh, we can correlate it with the, the publish pages uh, in AEM terminology. Yeah, the outer CDN uses internally a multi-layer caching technique called shielding we will we will learn about this also this concept called shielding but yeah uh, bring your own cdn outer cdn and the inner cdn inner cdn will serve these pages these pages we will learn about, about these but these are nothing called the preview pages so we can generate preview url which is just for i i have just configured my document and i want to see how it will look on the end website likewise we have this preview option in AEM, uh, the AEM, normal uh, usual Adobe Experience Manager, here also we can first preview the page. We find it, yeah, it is looking good, then only publish it, similar to that. So previewing option is available and the inner CDN is responsible for that. But uh, just to remember, no caching, there is no caching here. Of course, it doesn't make any sense also, right? It's just for authors to preview it first. And uh, of course, they used for viewing the changes without publish. I mean, before you make it live, just see if it is looking good or not. So three levels of caching, live pages, preview pages, and uh, one more CDN we can put on top of that. Uh, now, there is also a concept called, called pipeline services, which uh, I talked earlier also, but it is nothing but it will pull the configuration from code bus. I will explain what is code bus. Uh, pull the con pull the content. Th this configuration code configuration code for the from the code bus. Content from the content bus, and it it runs as an AWS Lambda function. I'll highly recommend if you don't know what is Lambda function, uh, please check that, and uh, let me know in the comment section if I sh I should create a video for this. I can create that, but uh, Lambda function also provides an edge, uh, serverless computing. So that option is also available. But yeah, Lambda function, uh, it's a uh, it's a kind of a front end framework. So it it runs on AWS Lambda function. And then there are few things which I have taken from the documentation that URL pattern analysis is used to route request to the correct request to type. I will talk about it in my uh, next videos media requests images which are served directly from the media bus okay and using the content addressable storage uh, i'll explain this also but if you are familiar with s3 uh, basically if, when we upload documents or any objects to s3 uh, it creates a addressable uh, url maybe i will explain it in next videos but that is how we can form a url of a particular asset and uh, uh, that URL can be accessed uh, so the same way. Okay, and then content request estimates are served using the Franklin pipeline services. Static content is served from the content bus or code bus directly. Yeah. So uh, uh, this is just a theory, uh, but when I will uh, show in the demo, then I think it will make more sense. I think what needs to understand more is these three lines, which makes more sense configuration to be pulled from code bus content from to be pulled from the content bus and then it runs as an aws lambda function yeah and this is the diagram which i have taken from the documentation uh, 
uh, the Adobe documentation and we can see it so likewise I said there are multiple tiers available uh, this is our edge services which is in green right operations let's talk about operations later on but we have pipeline and then we have author so from where this whole thing will start let's try to understand it so authors authors will create the content in google drive or sharepoint simple and then i will explain what is markdown uh in in next video in one of the video i will explain what is markdown right but what will happen using the sidekick uh, which is a github project using the sidekick once we will have the content ready in google drive or sharepoint we can either preview the content or can publish the content okay and there are services available rest based service those are rest based services in the helix admin okay so for example preview service the index service or the live service etc right what will happen once the once uh, content is ready author creates the content and con uh, uh, author activates the content or maybe preview it or live it using helix admin rest based services the content will move to the bus now we have media bus content bus or code bus which lies in now we are right now we are talking about aws delivery stack that's why it is aws s3 so these are nothing but the buckets so if the uh, content is coming from google drive then it will go to content bus or if the asset is there then it will go to media bus and if there is any code then it will go to code bus now what will happen the code is also there in the github repository which will be pushed by the developer and uh, the github boat uh, which is uh, in, in sync right this github github boat will sync the code to code bus okay let's talk let's not talk about them indexer etc yeah but okay after that it is available in the s3 buckets and there are pipeline services now i explained that the these this content will be converted to hypermedia so who are responsible the pipeline services are responsible to convert it to hypermedia nothing but html json objects plain text etc forms right and then on top of that we will have inner cdn no caching at all no caching and then this is in a CDN. I mean, until next we activate it. It's just we preview it to see if the content is looking good or not. So that's why it is HLX pages. I explained HLX pages means it's just preview content. Okay. Once we make it live, means HLX dot live pages. Now here comes the outer CDN, which is in our case it's fastly right now. We have the caching will also be there. Okay. And then on top of that, business can own their own cdn bring your own cdn again for like uh, second level of caching here there is no caching the inner cdn there is no caching only outer cdn as well as uh, if there is uh, one more customer oriented cdn then the caching will be there and this is this uh, yellow part is nothing but yellow or amber uh, it's operational activities operational activities i mean i want to have some log monitoring system so likewise we have the this is Corelogics uh, uh, I think we can correlate it with the um, in AM also we have the log metrics tool um, cloud watch etc uh, and then um, on top of that we have this uh, RUM collector we call this as a uh, real time user user monitoring real time user monitoring it's nothing but uh, I want to see the performance of my website, how many users are interacting, etc. So that metrics I can collect. Um, yeah, please check. I maybe I I should create a video for it. But yeah, it's a st standard term. We we have uh, tools available to collect this data and then to see if my site is performing well or not. Um, so for example, uh, for this core logics, uh, new relic is also used uh, for um, you know log monitoring, etc. 
so overall overall right in this this whole complex architecture uh, to understand not there is nothing much big to understand to be true authoring we have the google docs SharePoint. likewise we have the author environment simple author will activate the content first we'll preview the content let's say first we'll preview the content as soon as the author previews it will go to inner CDN uh, which the content will be pulled from the pipeline using the pipeline services which will convert the the storage uh, the items which are there in the storage there are uh, three levels of storage media bus content bus and uh, code bus it will be converted to hypermedia and then it will go to the uh, the inner CDN code will be pulled from the github repository uh, using the github boat it will be auto sync and then uh, once the author will activate the content will publish the content it will go to outer CDN start out HLX or live pages caching will be there uh, if there is one more level of caching it is optional so uh, caching one more caching will be there and it's operational activity so this is the overall architecture of uh, of the Franklin project using AWS delivery stack. Thank you so much for watching. What we'll do in the next video, we will cover the, the another flavor which is cloud, uh, Cloudflare 1 and uh, I'll try to explain what is the difference between this architecture, the AWS one and the Cloudflare one. Thank you so much for watching.